Hey guys, I have a very sad announcement for y'all. This is the last video I'm ever going to post. Ha! Huh. April Fools! Oh! It's so funny! <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, I am not quitting Clash of Clans, there's no way, I love this game, let's go in and do some Gigabarch replays, uh, and then let's do a live raid, and then let's do some upgrades, it's gonna be a crazy day guys, happy April 1st, April Fool's Day, and uh, let's go in and do some work guys, I am, I'm attacking Charlie, and apparently Charlie is back, and uh, he's got a ton of Dark Elixir on his base, so I want it, I want his Elixir, I want his gold, I want everything. So, the uh, giants have been deployed up here at the top. We got some wall breakers breaking into that top compartment pretty easily. These level six, uh, these level six walls, pink walls, are, uh, they're very easy to defeat. I mean, they, they just aren't, <laughs> they're easy, especially for level six giants. I mean, it's gonna break through, the wall breakers break through easily as well. If you are a Town Hall 9 and you have pink walls, you need to uh, change your priorities a little bit and really start farming your walls up because that is the reason you keep getting defeated. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm here to help you out. And uh, if you have pink walls and you're a Town Hall 9, if you're if you're a Town Hall 8 and you have pink walls still, and you're not like a brand new Town Hall 8, then you probably should get to work. But anyway, so um, we're into the middle of the base now, and I'm releasing my goblins to take out the storage, and then they should swing around to the Dark Elixir Drill or the Dark Elixir Storage. Whoa, the Dark Elixir Storage is down. Holy cow. Okay, well, goblins have an easy job on their hands guys are going to come in here and take this dark elixir drill they're going to come in and take this town hall and then we'll see where they go next looks like they're going to try to get through the wall that wizard tower will say nah -uh, no so we did miss out on quite a bit of loot as you can tell guys i've got nothing but giants let's go ahead and skip forward now and uh that's going to do it for this raid kind of a fail but i mean with 2285 dark elixir that can't be considered a fail we got the town hall so Pretty amazing, uh, love it. Check out this base design, guys. I actually really love this base design. Very well, you know, very good defending base. You can tell I'm being sarcastic. Um, <laughs> it's cool though. I mean, it looks really neat. Uh, you know, probably no one's gonna be touching that town hall for a while, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how Klaus does it, right? <laughs> Referring to myself in the third person, that's right. Uh oh, we got wizards in the clan castle. Let's heal this group up here and uh, poison those wizards down. Let's try to take them out as quickly as possible. We also need to heal this other group on this bottom side, but we didn't heal them quick enough, so uh, I feel like that bottom side is a lost cause. We got some uh, wall breakers going into that compartment. We want to break into this dark elixir compartment, and then our goblins will come in here pretty much without, well, that Tesla is going to do something about it, but other than the Tesla, these goblins are free to go. So, um, we got 16 more goblins, and we got a Dark Elixir Drill on the bottom. Probably does not have all 500 plus Dark Elixir in it, but hey, it's worth doing it. You know, it's worth getting it. And, um, uh, you know what, I bet the, the rest of the Dark Elixir is in that town hall, which I'm, I'm not gonna bother with because I, uh, I didn't bring a jump spell or anything to get into that, that middle... That's three walls, isn't it? No, that's two, uh, depending on what you look at. That is a two-wall compartment there. And uh, no way I'm going to get in there. So that is it for this raid. Interesting base design. I'm just trying to get the Dark Elixir. We are doing some Dark Elixir farming, guys. So 1,699 Dark Elixir. I did lose out on my Elixir. That was a negative profit for me. But like I said, Dark Elixir is the main priority. Now check out this base, guys, against Sue and Korea. And 80-something um, thousand uh, gold. Not too good, but 400,000 Elixir, 2,000 Dark Elixir. It's pretty amazing, guys, and um, so we're breaking into this base. I love these flower bases because um, they just give me the perfect... Don't use flower bases, guys, because they just seem so easy to path. You know, they just seem so easy to path. And look at that failed heal spell. Those giants are just outside the range of the heal spell. Now they're in the heal spell, but it was just bad. The other group is not in there either. I was kind of planning ahead for that heal spell, but I didn't, I didn't plan well enough. I didn't plan well at all. So, um, anyway, the giants are in now. We're taking the rest of the Dark Elixir. The goblins are... I, lo I love them. We just started... Well, we just uh, just released our uh, clan castle giants there at the bottom because we lost our giants. We got a um, giants in the clan castle, which is... Uh, I don't know. Never good. I, I never like seeing that. But, uh, you know, it's better than wizards or 
a golem or something. So uh, we'll poison them down. We got our giants now in the middle compartment with that heal rage spell combination. And we got a whole bunch of goblins with free reign to those uh, storages on the right side. And now what are we going to do, guys? We got giants in the middle. We got goblins coming into the middle. Finally going to take the rest of our dark elixir. Let's take it, guys. Come on. Take it. And looks like we aren't going to get it all. Bummer. Uh, we missed out on, well, only about 400 dark elixirs. So not too bad. 35,000 gold is crap. 144,000 elixir is okay. And 1,600 dark elixir. You know what? For as cheap as this army really is, it's about 200,000 elixir. You know, for as cheap as this army is and not spending a, a dime on dark elixir, uh, this army is amazing. I've been able to farm up my heroes so fast with this army composition. I love it. You can't beat bases very well. I mean, it's not like a powerful army composition, but you can you can burrow into bases and take Dark Elixir easily, especially if you're willing to use your spells. So what I'll do, guys, a lot of the times I will uh, boost my spell factory, but I won't boost my barracks. That way I can keep churning out spells, and I'll do something else in the process. I'll play another game or I will uh, do some work, or whatever I need to do while that's happening. And I'll, you know, I'll attack every 20, 30 minutes, and it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> so um, we are coming in here now. This base had a ton of loot. We're releasing our goblins now to kind of come into that middle compartment. And um, the uh, beauty is that the Dark Elixir storage is already down, guys. So where is the rest of the Dark Elixir? we got 87 Dark Elixir left, and really... The reason why I attacked this base was not for the Dark Elixir. As you can tell, guys, only about 1,000. But over 400,000 Elixir, which is beautiful. Over 200,000 gold, which is all profit. And um, we rage those giants at the top just to kind of clear out the top because I need that gold. So the goblins have been released to try to take out all the gold. And this was primarily a mine and collector base. So uh, we definitely cleared out the mines or the collectors down there at the bottom. And looks like we will just miss out on that gold mine at the top. And that is going to be it for this raid, guys. Uh, I don't think... Well, yeah, those archers are doing work. But they're going to die quickly. There we go. Archers are gone. And now all we have are giants down here. And we'll speed on through and end this raid. Looks like a giant bomb. And the archer tower ends our day. But still, 275,000 gold is amazing. 416,000 elixir is even better. 1,000 dark elixir. Not too shabby, but... You know, when you find a base with 400,000 elixir, you're not going to deny it. Just like this one. I mean, against, oh my goodness, and I can't say the name of that guy. I'm so sorry. Wow. That is that is one name. We're going to call him Appy. Okay, so Appy has 400,000 gold, 400,000 elixir, and 1,200 dark elixir. This is another base, a dead base, I think, that I found that made me happy because I thought wow look at all that loot and I need it and it's a really easily path base look at this boom die king no you don't get to live all right so uh, he'll spell on the bottom group probably need a heal spell at the top but we'll see what uh we'll see what happens here we got the enemy queen now getting destroyed get some all right and um I would love to see some goblins in here now we got a uh we got a dark elixir Collect or Dark Elixir Storage. There we go in the middle as well as a Town Hall. Dead Expos. There we go. Heal spell on that group on the right. Waiting until the Wizard Tower is a genius idea because Wizard Towers are pretty OP against these giants, especially if they're high level Wizard Towers. And all the defenses are pretty much wrecked now from the center. So the goblins are going to come in now and take out this Dark Elixir Storage and probably take out the Town Hall real well. It's going to take no time to take out the Town Hall. Boom. There you go. And now the uh, goblins have come around. The wizard tower is right there at the bottom as well, so I don't think they're going to live very long to tell the tale. Uh, so the uh, goblins, I think, were released a little bit prematurely in this raid. Uh, but we still got a ton of giants. They're coming down. They are doing some work. We, st we have a lot of loot that we've gained. We still got a little bit left. 188,000 elixir still remaining. Almost 400 dark elixir still remaining. Uh, and... Um, I mean, the Giants are ahead. The Giants are being targeted by everybody. So as long as these archers stay in that rage spell, which at first looks like a fail, but now it looks like it was genius. Look at all those archers raged, guys. They're amazing. They do so much work. So the rest of the loot is right here. Elixir Collector and Dark Elixir Drill. So if these archers can do their work, get it over with, and get over here, we'll be okay. Look at these barbarians. They are walking to their death. Look at that. One and two. 
gosh, that was terrible. Okay, so we got a group of archers coming in now. And if we can take out this wizard tower, then we'll be good to go. Yes, okay, so now all we have left is one cannon, which should not be an issue. We got all the elixir. Come on, guys. Come on. Yes, little purple haired. Is that hair? Yeah, purple haired ladies. Gonna take out the cannon, and that is going to be it. Come on, let's go. Uh, yes, yes. Ha! <laughs> Three star. Woo! Oh my goodness, we, dang, we got a lot of loot, 453,000 gold, 477,000 elixir, 1,200 dark elixir against Apitfitri, yes, <laughs> I love the gigabarch attack strategy, guys, it is, it is amazing, I know you, you hear me say that every time I use it, but it is amazing, now let's go up against Brit, sitting on 2,000 dark elixir, 476,000 elixir, and 310,000 gold, I know I said that backwards, but anyway, he's got full drills, or she, Brit's probably a girl, no telling. Um, <laughs> the Dark Elixir drills are full, and they're outside of any range, so we're going to snipe them with some archers. We're speeding on through until they are gone, and then we'll send our giants in on this bottom side, just so that we can uh, get that Dark Elixir uh, storage. And um, some amazing goblin work going to go down here, guys. I can just feel it. I can tell. Well, I mean, I know, because... I'm the one that attacked this base. But anyway, look at that wall breaker fell down there at the bottom. Okay, and um, wizard tower is at the bottom going to be going down. We got two wizard towers together, which is death for giants. So this group down here is going to die unless I can pull it together. Nope, so all the giants are dead down there. But what's really most important is getting into the middle. Not necessary. We got a clan castle with a P.E.K.K.A., which I'm going to heal in the wake of that Tesla. And, um... Man, uh, P.E.K.K.A. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I've ever trained up a P.E.K.K.A. on my own. I think every P.E.K.K.A. I've ever used was in my clan castle. The reason for that is just because I have been brainwashed. I'm just kidding, not brainwashed, but I've just been convinced that Go Wipe is just no bueno. You know, it's no good. So I, I do not train up P.E.K.K.A. for any reason. Let's heal and rage these goblins. Watch these guys do work, guys. Dark Elixir Storage is down. I'm going to break through the wall in like two seconds. We're going to get in here, take out that town hall, and then we'll go through and attempt to get at this gold storage. Are we going to get it, guys? Are we going to get the gold storage? No, we got... Oh, come on. Yes, we got to it, but are we going to get all the gold? Not even close. So, hey, I mean, we got the Dark Elixir. 2,126 Dark Elixir. We got 245,000 gold, 239,000 Elixir, and, uh, hey amazing i love it good good deal okay so we're going up against chris number two chris two and he's got 2000 dark elixir on his base as well this is another town hall nine with pink walls i mean if you're farming you're gonna attack this base over 400,000 elixir 2000 dark elixir that's pretty amazing another stupid base with wizards uh Klein Castle wizards are crazy, guys. Request wizards. They do so much work. Anyway, so we're poisoning the wizards, and they all die, but unfortunately, they take out all of our giants. Got another group of giants on the left, but I'm going to use my Klein Castle giants to... Oop, low battery. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so we got our giants coming in, and um, they're going to break into this compartment here. Our wit our archers actually are going to help out, and we're getting the Dark Elixir out of those drills, so that's wonderful. The rest of the Dark Elixir is in that storage in the middle. Are we going to make it, guys? That's the question. I'm not going to always show successful raids, but, you know, I mean, this this attack strategy is amazing, so it's really hard to fail completely. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the giant's coming in. They're going to take out this mortar, and then as soon as they break into that wall, I'd like to see some goblins get sent straight in and wreck some crap. Look at that archer on the right side taking out that elixir storage. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. That elixir storage is now sitting on hardly any HP. Watch this goblin on the right side. It takes like, oh, okay, let's watch this group of uh, goblins on the right side. It takes like zero seconds. Boom, it is gone. And now let's see some goblins go in and take this dark elixir out of the center compartment there. We got no spells. We only had two to start with. So this is all we got left, guys. Let's see if we can get this dark elixir. Come on. Yes. All right. So the goblins take in. They get that dark elixir. Last second. Complete success. 43,000 gold, 219,000 elixir, and 1,700 dark elixir. Guys, you ask how I farm my heroes so fast. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. So the uh, Town Hall 9, 395,000 gold on this base, 485,000 elixir, nearly 2,000 dark elixir, and look at that dragon in the clan castle. What a jerk. What a jerk. Let's poison that dragon. Let's heal my poor little giants. I wonder if they're going to... Uh, I wonder if they're going to make it, actually. I, I doubt they do, though. I mean, the dragon does a ton of damage, probably way more than the heal spell keep up with. Yep, the giants have been gone for a while now. We're going to double poison that 
dragon. Hopefully all those archers over there can do some work on that dragon as well as the double poison. Let's take out the dragon, guys. Come on. And we got a uh, Valkyrie that came from the clan castle. It's doing work in the middle. And uh, wall breakers breaking into that last compartment. If we can get into the middle, we can still get this dark elixir, guys. It looks like I came into this base from the wrong direction because the uh, dark elixir drills have are full. I mean, they're I think they're level three, and they are full. So let's take this storage, booyah! And um, yes, a raged max Valkyrie can do some work. It is amazing, and that is. Probably all we're going to get, guys, that Valkyries get shot down. The uh, goblins, ooh, the goblins going to get a little more elixir. That is, that's good stuff right there. And uh, now we, all we have are archers there on the right side that are now dropped as well. So 270,000 gold, 352,000 elixir, and 1,300 dark elixir. And it was quick. <laughs> that was a quick attack. Uh, it was, man. So now we're back at base, and my king is alive. Yes. He's a level 13. It's going to take 60,000 Dark Elixir to get him to level 14. I say we do that in this video. But first, first, guys, we've got a few other things to talk about. Gigabarch, live raid, right? It's been requested of me to do more live raids, so let's go in and let's do it. Uh, it's good dark, but nah. No dark, nah. All right, guys, let's see if we can find a raid. I'm going to try not to edit this out. And, ooh. Yes, now that's the kind of base I want. That is the kind of base I want right there. Man, yes. Wow, this is great. Let's see, giants down here at the the bottom side. Uh, we got we to gotta take out that, that wizard tower quickly, but we need them to funnel in. So let's put them on each side of this little bottom compartment, some wall breakers to get in the base. Uh... Come on, get in the base. Get in the base. Break the walls. All right, now we got some clan castle and some barbarians and some archers and uh, yeah, spread those babies out. We can, if we can break in and get into this part here, that'll be wonderful. Come on, giants, break in. Let's take out the queen. Let's take out the king. The king's down. Yes. Let's take out the queen. Yes. Things are going well. Uh, all right. The, the, oh no, why are the giants going to the side? Oh crap! I should have healed those hogs. Crap. No. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We're into that base now. We're into the compartment. We're healing that side on the, on the left. Let's heal the side on the right. Special ability. What the heck? No! I clicked the special ability. My king died. No! Oh, I clicked it. I know I clicked it. Crap. Crap. My king died. Oh. Ugh. Okay, well, goblins, do my work for me. Come on. Let's rage you in the middle. Come on. Get in there. Heal and rage. What do you- no, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, no, 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 crap, no, come back, I need the dark elixir, come on, come back, oh, crap, well, we raged a few archers, I guess, but my freaking goblins went the wrong direction, we're gonna miss out on a thousand dark elixir and a ton of golden elixir, guys, I hate it, why'd that happen, <laughs> uh, Oh my goodness, guys. I am so sorry. I mean, I still got quite a bit of Dark Elixir, and I needed just, I only needed like 500 Dark Elixir to be able to start my king, so I guess this was still a success. But I'm leaving 990 Dark Elixir on this base. Oh, thank you, archers. Thank you. I hate you, mortar. Oh my goodness, that was so bad. 163,000 golds, okay. 389,000 Elixir is actually really good, but 945 Dark Elixir, that is poop, man. That was poop. Oh, that was so bad. I'm going to collect the star bonus here. Ah, crap. That was so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, uh, let's go into the progress base. We got enough dark elixir to do some work. So um, as you can see, guys, I've done nothing to this progress base since the last video yesterday. I'm going to move my Barbarian King out of the way and move this line down because I know that the Barbarian King upgrade is going to take six and a half days. And so that means he'll be at the top of this little list here. And um, let's look at this guy. Let's move him into the middle. And um, check it out, guys. All these defenses still need to be upgraded. It's going to be a long journey. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Barbarian King going to level 14 today, guys. Laboratory is going to fish in an hour or two. We should probably do that in this video. That's awesome. Okay, so Barbarian King, 60,000 Dark Elixir. Oh, that's a lot of elix dark elixir. I'm not going to have any left. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Boom! Yes! <laughs> Barbarian King going to level 14. Back to back. This uh, Barbarian King came to life in the same video, and then he went back to sleep in the same video. Booyah! All right, so let's wait an hour and five minutes. 
and let's do this new laboratory upgrade. So here we go, 17 seconds to go. Guys, I am super stoked. We're gonna start, uh... oh gosh, I forgot what we're gonna be doing. Oh well, let's go in. We got five, well, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, yes, max balloons, yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes, max balloons, guys. I've never used max balloons before, so that's gonna be awesome. Be looking forward to tomorrow's video. I'll be using them for the first time in live attacks. It's gonna be pretty sweet. I'll probably just record an entire boost and show y'all all the attacks. But what are we gonna be doing today? Oh yeah, the goblin. Yes, 4.5 million elixir, eight days. Let's do this thing. Level six goblin. I love goblins, so having a stronger goblin is going to be sick, guys. That is an eight day upgrade. And now I am broke. Oh my goodness. I'm broke, but there we go. That's amazing. Uh, let's move all these things down. And uh, the laboratory now goes on the end of this list because the Barbarian King is six days, 10 hours, and I've got eight days until my goblins are done. So there we go. There is my list. Actually, if you look at the sweeper, guys, only five hours to go. That's awesome. Should we do this in this video? Uh, no, let's do it in tomorrow's video, guys. Be looking forward to tomorrow's video because I'm going to be doing another upgrade. We'll see what we're going to be doing. Of course, I'm not going to be doing a hero because they're still upgrading, but we'll do a defense. So that's going to be awesome. Also, some balloon attacks using my max balloons, probably Lunion or maybe even Lava Lunion. But anyway, guys, enough talk. Well, actually, I'm going to be doing some more talk when I answer today's comment question of the day. And for today's comment question of the day, Daryl Fisherman asks, about how long do you think it will be until you are a Town Hall 10? Now, this is not the first time he's asked that. He's asked that multiple times, and I just haven't been able to answer it, so that explains the three question marks. So anyway, Daryl, um, here's the thing. I, uh, I don't know, to be honest, but what I did was I did some slapstick math, guys, and I went into my laboratory, and I added up all the upgrades that are in there, and it came out to about four months. So what I'm thinking is that... I'll probably be either maxing out my base or I'll be completely done by August or September. Now, if I'm going to be maxed or not, that's kind of up to you guys. I, uh, you know, I'm I'm wanting to uh, be able to reach 100 likes on a video pretty quickly. So be sure and like the video uh, to help me motivate because <laughs> maxing out walls is going to be crazy. But uh, anyway, guys, that's 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 what I'm thinking. It probably. August or September, I will be getting ready to go to Town Hall 10. Now, that being said, I'm not sure about my buildings and my heroes. Is it going to be four months until they're they're ready or not? I have no idea. But my prediction is that I'll probably start going to Town Hall 10 in September. Uh, but that could be, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I used to be really specific and I actually had like days when I knew, yes, I'm going to be going to Town Hall 7 on this day or 8 on this day. But uh, now that I'm at Town Hall 9, things are much more complicated. Not sure if I can predict it that well. So anyway, that is the answer to today's common question of the day. If you want a question answered, please put CQOTD semicolon, or actually I think this is colon, <laughs> down in the comment section below and ask your question. Also, please like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't like it, and subscribe if you want more daily Clash content. Be looking forward to tomorrow's videos. Yep, that's right, videos. I'm going to be posting two videos tomorrow, one for farming and what I'm going to do with this Air Sweeper Builder. What am I going to do? I have no idea. We'll see. And um, I'll also be posting some war content as expected from a Clasher, doing some war content as well as uh, starting a new series, which uh, you will learn about more in tomorrow's video. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are a true fan. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.